In the prior video, I showed how to sync Clockstep Multi from Ableton Live using a sample accurate method instead of MIDI clock. Now I'm going to go the other way with it and have Ableton Live sync from Clockstep Multi without using MIDI clock. To do this, we'll need Ableton's CV clock in utility and a dedicated input on the audio interface. In Ableton Live, we'll go ahead and add the CV clock in utility. Under Tempo, we'll set the option for external in and select the dedicated input we want to use. For taps, we'll leave it at 16th, which is equal to 4 ppqn. A technical note before plugging in Clockstep Multi. Audio inputs are AC, unless your audio interface has an option to provide DC coupling. This isn't the ideal pairing with the 5 volt DC signals from Clockstep Multi's patch bay, but it'll work for doing triggers and that's all we need. It's important though that we turn down any gain controls on the input first, and that we don't send the incoming DC signal to any speakers or headphones. Now just plug one of the sync outs to the input you've chosen on your audio interface. Start the clock and use a visual meter to ensure the signal level is good. Back in Ableton, you can see that it's already responding to Clockstep Multi. If it's not, then you can use the threshold setting to calibrate it to the input signal. Clockstep Multi is currently running at 120 BPM, but Ableton is showing half of that. This is because the default rate from Clockstep Multi is 2 ppqn, and the CB clock utility is currently expecting 4 ppqn. We can just increase Clockstep Multi's rate to 4 ppqn, and now 120 BPM is shown in Ableton. Let's hear the Ableton drum track I've made. I'll bring that down to 90 BPM. Next, we'll look at another aspect of the CV clock in utility, which is the ability to manage transport start and stop. This will require another dedicated input on your audio interface. Under Transport, set the option for External In and select the dedicated input we want to use for the transport signals. For Mode, we'll leave it set for Toggle. On Clockstep Multi, plug the Start Stop output into the dedicated input of the audio interface. And just to reiterate, turn the gain controls down and don't send the incoming signal to any speakers or headphones. If everything's hooked up right, Ableton Live now responds to transport commands from Clockstep Multi as well. To tie it all together, here's Clockstep Multi controlling both Ableton Live and a hardware synth, keeping all three devices in tight sync with one another.